Okay, Linnea, I have some uh, lingua ignota for you. You asked me to react to this when this was released too, and honestly, I should have just like done it at that point, because nah, I've been waiting on it for a long time, and this is like the last big album uh, to listen to before I was like, you know, I can make my album of the year like lists. Um, it was a pretty big release, you know, I'm not really hearing many negative things. Yes, of course, Fantano, he gave this a 10. Um, I'm not sure, like I don't, again, think that means I will give this a 10. Um, only because I wouldn't ever expect to give something with this sound a 10. Um, that only comes from uh, Caligula, because I listened to Caligula when it came out. I think I gave it like an 8 or something, um, but I thought it was quite cool. I, I definitely did. I do think maybe if I came back to it, um, maybe I could find uh, more appreciation for it, because it's not fully in my scene, but there's epicness to it, because of course it being such a big, critically acclaimed release, it definitely was, uh, ended up on my lap at a certain point. I haven't listened to All Bitches Die, I uh, do want to listen to it, um, but yeah, I'm excited for Sin to Get Ready. I'm not sure what to expect from this uh, at all. I did hear uh, recently about the abuse within her relationship um, with Alexis Marshall, so I, I do want to say that I am definitely with her. Uh, we're, you know, supporting her through and through. Um, it's absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. We're experiencing, I'm experiencing something. History is what I'm experiencing. Okay. 
okay now. Amazing. Um, I think lyrically, um, more so vocally, how these lyrics are given to you are in such a dark emotional impact. Uh, I'm really feeling that um, like there is a character that's very strongly being represented here. Um, Lyrically, like I can't really analyze too much, right? Like I feel more like there's a character behind it because it's there's not too many lines, but uh, seeing someone at least like um, you know saying like hide your children, hide your husband, um, someone who is at least that figure that's a warning. I guess, but at the same time, this person's also talking about, like, you're gonna, like, be eternally devoting me. Um, so this character, um, being helpful to the people because they it truly wants to, or because it just can't help but be this, like, I don't know, I'm seeing, like, a goddess figure. And someone who's being aware of a goddess figure. It doesn't seem human or at least the attention expected doesn't seem human when it's compared to, like, these lowly folks taking it in. Um, again, I don't know if this is what the song's about, but this is at least how I'm feeling reading this. Sickness finds a way in. Um, that was fucking scary. <laughs> when, I, when I first heard that line, I was like, okay, we're getting even further. Like, this song is not done yet. Um, to, to like, suppose that, I don't know. I don't know. But, and especially the repetition of the internal devotion, how various that is vocally, um, and that constant, like, uh, hidden uh, of the industrial, like, noise, I think that, um, the piano, too, plays well in those areas as well. Um, jeez. I don't need to talk that much. This is just the first song, right? Okay. Glorious Father. Yeah, she has a fantastic voice, though. Holy crap. That is very reminiscent of Nick Cave again, too, I feel. Always your voice bites the back of a cold Yeah. 
definitely excited to come back to this project um, because there is um, not a holding back of emotion at all. Um, I definitely think that um, I was I was saying it about this fucking uh, in my Young Lean video something about like proper intention behind a song, but um, like here like proper intention behind vocals. Holy shit! Like it's uh, it's awesome. Um, lyrically though, again, this song is a, a, a lot like uh, the last track, um, where it's repetitious, but vocal delivery is different, or they're just taking that line and like kind of doing something else with it. Yeah, I, I again talking about like your voice bites the back of a cold wind. Tall grass has been for you. That is brought back, and it's brought from like her perspective. Like she has that. Um, talking about light shining, so there's like a balance of like talking about another person uh, and then also talking about her as well. Um, you're not fucking with this person for sure, like if you're gonna say something like gather on my quiet hammer and nail him down, that's a vivid imagery of something I, like you fucked up, <laughs> basically. Heavenly means though, you have to go to heavenly means to do this, your golden scythe. But then, yeah, breaking into the part where it's like, I don't give a fuck, just kill him. So it's like, you're suggesting that you have to, like, get rid of this situation in, like, the most formal of ways, potentially, but then kind of, like, pushing that emotion back, because at the end of the day, it's, you're like, ah, it's a situation you want to be, you want it to be dealt with already. Um... Yeah, I've made my body your vessel, I preach your word. So definitely, you know, you've done a lot for this person. And to the extent, too, that you've walked the earth weeping. emotion here. I'd say lyrically as well, if you're already going to bring uh, God uh, into this context, there's already going to be this like unsolvable like idea here. Um, in a way. You know what I mean? Especially because like, especially putting a strong emotion like the Lord of course is already kind of being associated with violent um words when it's something that's uh, almost being like uh, like an over controlling parent maybe in a way is the best way to explain like someone that's grabbing you because they want to do the right thing but in a way it's not um, I would die for you I would die for you he wept um, of course he wept using that uh, as as well um, but this is like Tears and tears, like this. This is a strong emotion, right? God is is saying, like, I would do this, um, and obviously there's irony in the sense of saying, like, you would. Why? 
I get it. It's like, why would God ever die? Because then it's like, life is forever, right? So then there's like, no such thing. But we're not even gonna go that fucking... <laughs> that fucking deep. Yeah, like, I wish things could be different. He wept. Um, that's an interesting line, too. I wish things could be different. Because then that one is like a suggesting, like, if you had this dialogue with God, it's like, things can't be different. Like, it's too late. You have to uh, deal with um, what's happened, and, like, I'm sorry, because this is the way it was intended. Um, which is... You could put any value on that. That's, a, that's the best part about that, is that that could be a negative value or a positive value. Um, yeah. Shit. <laughs> well, let's go to this next track, Pennsylvania Furnace. We die Of everything's impermanent. I wish things could be any other way. Huh. For the other song was God saying that now it's her. Person, potentially like that's the best way of okay at least that's how I'm seeing it here yeah uh, this is really 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 good um, this is pretty instantaneous on an emotional effect like um, that above all others when that comes in too this I am blown away by this I really am this project is already different than what I was expecting, because I, I like, I did like Caligula, but it's not like on my day, like on my rotation, uh, but it's fucking just screaming for a lot of it, right, there's no screaming on this, this is fuck, like, kind of like, really beautiful, you know, like, it's actually kind of relaxing to listen to, even though there is some sort of creepy nature to parts of this, I see a lot of bliss, uh, or I see a lot of uh, emotion being laid uh, bare though, I really do. I don't know, I'm, I am seeing a character here that is, this is what, the saddest song on here, for sure, um, cause it does seem like someone who's like, at least putting themselves down a little bit, especially too, um, I think in a way, I don't know if this is, is related to, um, Again, I don't think you're happy with the with this other certain person, um, but you're certainly not happy that like 
Like, if they're going to have to do something or deal with something, they have to deal with it with you. At least that's why it's like, uh, like you be in, um, in hell with me. But I fear your voice. I fear your voice. That line is said differently. Or is I fear your voice and I fear your name. Both of those are said differently. Um, but there's such lightness to the way... Um, the singing comes at the end too. Like, uh, like it's like in the sense of like having your walls up with someone here, but like, there is weakness, um, at least a little bit. Damn. Okay, let's go to this next track. straightforward I'd say lyrically it's like God will fuck you up basically <laughs> is what this song is about I can say I don't deserve it My 
For sure, themes. Um, but you can take the songs out on their own, really, and get this own emotion by itself. Ingo Ignota. Where's the All Bitches Die? I have to listen to that too. Um, and that's like different than this, but uh, at the end of the day, this here. This is why I had to listen to it before I did my albums list. This is why I had to, because this would be high up. It'd be high up. It'd be like, it'd be a sin. I'd have to get ready. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this. The heart of man is an The plucking, I feel like it's going opposite ways too. There's a good opposition with it. Um, and the really wailing, wailing of the thing right here. Okay, this part is we're, get, we're getting down here. I'm seeing Skyrim characters getting down in a club, like in my home of ours. This. This song does just seem like, <laughs> like, just listening to it in your room, like, <laughs> with headphones in it, I'm just like, <laughs> it's like listening to Guy's Core, like I was saying months ago. That song is fucked, okay? You probably realize that already though, so this doesn't come as to a surprise that I am saying it. Um, yeah, this is a weird one, okay? It really is, especially too because it's, again, yes, many of these songs have already went with like repeating lyrics, but this one's also like repeating something that is just like so fucking sad. But sad to like the most gutting of ways. It's just like nothing's enough. Just fucking nothing. Okay? Um, and really going on with it? Wow. And of course, the instrumental really gives like the panicked feeling to it. Like this, listening to it, I feel like I'm in a depressive episode. 
Like, just really intense episode. <laughs> this is just the thoughts in your head is just this fucking song. <laughs> um, but I think it works. And I, I do think The Heart of Man is impossible to hold. I, I do think ending it on, like, the impossible to hold because, yeah, like, um... Uh, it's one of those things that humanity has a problem dealing with. So we don't have control. No, we don't. Okay? I mean, you can certainly make your life better for yourself. You can try. But there's limits to the control you have. And uh, uh, what life really means at the end of the day, that is impossible to hold. That is impossible to hold, and none of us ever will. But that's okay. Honestly, it's like fine. We'll probably be okay. And uh, we have this last song. Here we go. <laughs> to end out just on that line, all I want to him alone. Fuck. Again, this album is very, very talking about death. Uh, and, uh, and definitely do it in, in, in a religious fashion for sure. Still a religious fashion here at the end, but um, just like the way the death is seen as well. Um, all I want to him, though, like, all that all I want, taking that separately, that all I want, to, at least how I'm understanding it when I'm listening to it, is literally nothing. You know what I mean? That paradise is not uh, associated with uh, any specific things other than just to not have to really be, right? Existence, not being a thing. Yeah, and this song too, it sounds, you know, obviously very happy for the most part, but then it also sounds um, very, like, yeah, hazy in the sense, like, as it's like your last few final minutes, right? So you're not even thinking rationally, and you're kind of just, like, uh, going. That's, that's, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I know this is, quite morbid, but this is just what I'm getting, picturing from this. Um, loneliness, too. Loneliness, my master. I mean... Weird, you know what I mean? One of the last final things that you're deciding to uh, come to terms with before, like, this, what you want is, like, okay, I am, and there's just nothing else. Okay. It's a dark perspective. I do not share that perspective, for sure, I don't uh, share that perspective, but um, hearing the song, I definitely uh, 
understand the, the perspective. Um, shit. Shit. I don't even know. This is fucking... Oh. This is a... Uh, I love this, though. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I've never heard anything like this. I, um, front to back. Um, what a um, powerful, powerful piece of art. Um, yeah, it really is. Um, first reaction, what would I want to give this? Um, I'm in between nine and nine and a half. Probably. I think listening to this project, though, it is quite interesting because I definitely don't, uh, um, f feel the perspective, at least. This is very dark, um, but it doesn't feel very dark in the sense of something like Rainbow Bridge 3, I guess. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, this obviously is feels more personal. Um, it really feels like there's emotion every step of the way. Um, there's not really any um, a break from it. Um, and there's enough harsh moments here um, to really, like, hop up uh, with the excitement. Wow. Okay. I'm going to listen to this a few more times, I think, actually. Um, and then maybe I'll talk more about the lyrics when I come back. Because um, I have no idea. I have no idea. But this is amazing. Lingua Ignota is... Uh, she's such a talented musician. She really is. Um, and, you know, I'm not full, uh, like, in-depth aware of her music. But... Um, one thing that's great to know is that this is still like a beginning in many ways, like there's a future. Uh, there's a future uh, that I will be excited to uh, appreciate for sure. Okay. Yeah. So, uh... Lingua Ignota. Sinner, get ready. Listen to it a few more times and, um, yeah, I fucking, this is good. Okay. This is excellent, okay? I think uh, this is definitely one of the finer uh, releases of this year. Um, and this sound too, you know, knowing Lingua Ignota for a more hardcore sound before this, I think this deserves more people listening to it. It really does. Uh, I understand that the, this can be a little off-putting, a little it's a little creepy at, at certain moments, but I, I really do think that there's just some amazing um, balladry um, moments. I really do that I think shine um, and that to anyone's ears. If you're going to listen to this, I, I feel like there's a lot of uh, emotion behind it. That's awesome. Not even having to dive into all the meaning, for sure. Um, and the meaning here, I think it's, it's quite dark, you know, it, it is coming usually from a dark space, um, a space too where I'm not often seeing, um, getting out of that space. And on a religious aspect on this stuff, I mean, a lot of it, like, putting God in like a, and like a not the nicest context or like a context where it's usually so um ambiguous still you know what i mean like you can't pinpoint exactly where it is but at the end of the day um we're humans right so uh, i think trying to figure out what god is or like why life is um it's you know fair enough to hurl or, or throw anything um in the sense of you know, <laughs> the world's fucked. Um, but yeah, this is excellent. This is really excellent. And I think uh, all of you should give this a listen for sure. Um, yeah. And now I'm going to do, uh, or I already did my top albums list um, before recording this. So, you know, so thank you, Lingua. Thank you. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, um, put a comment down below, and thank you for watching. Peace.